Hello everyone, and today I'm going to teach you how to import your own custom level on Super Mario 64 DS. To get started, you're going to need a modeling program of your choice. I'll be using two in this case for different purposes. And a fresh ROM of Super Mario 64 DS. I can't provide this. A simple Google search will work. And lastly, Super Mario 64 DS E Ultimate, which is Editor Ultimate. I'll leave that in the description, so don't worry. As well as a couple other things you'll see later on in the video. Okay, let's get started. So first, we're going to make the level. We're going to open up Blender, and then we're just going to be really simple here. We're going to cube, duplicate, cube again, and bam, that looks like a good level to me. <laughs> uh, I mean, you can make it much more complex than this, but this is a demonstration, so don't worry about it. Okay, once you're done with your level, you should always have a big plane that tries to cover uh, more uh, more than the actual level. Just a little a little bit bigger than the actual level. Uh, this plane will be used as pretty much the death plane. So when the character falls through this, they'll die and respawn. Uh, without it, they would fall for a really long time and then finally respawn. So always have this whenever you can. So, export as DAE. So then we can now transfer it to SketchUp just for own personal preferences. We can get rid of this. We go on. So then, uh, here we go. Import. Go all the way down to where it is. Try and center it. Perfect. Okay, and just a heads up for any SketchUp users. Uh, if, if any of the faces happen to be gray, those aren't going to show up in-game. Those are going to be invisible and will have no collision either. So make sure all the faces or the faces you want to be seen are white, so then they will all be visible. Now, uh, also another tip, this is for in general, not just SketchUp users. If you see a very big plane like this, this bottom bit, you know, that's a really big plane, we want to make that smaller. You should always try and... Here, actually, let's redo those lines. You should always split up any really big open planes because I assure you later on it'll make a big difference because uh, if it'll stop doing this... Hold up. Let's select it. There we go. That's better. Uh, because what's going to happen is if the plane is too big and there's just not enough split up, uh, the collision's not going to work properly, and there's going to be a lot more issues later that are going to be knowing to fix. So might as well do it now. Just split up as many times as you can or as you want. I would say to be safe, just do it as many times as possible, so you have no issues. We're going to do this a couple of times. Boom. Boom. That looks pretty split up to me. Not exactly even, but hey, it's split up. That means we're good. Okay. Now, next we're going to want to import our textures. That's the wrong one. There's one. Okay. Uh, here's another one. Here's one more. And then the last one. Okay, so what you want to do is be very careful where you use your textures because whatever your texture is assigned to, say this texture is assigned to this plane, and what's going to happen is that texture is now going to have only one function, and that function is going to be uh, a collision type, and in this case it's going to be the death plane. So whenever you're coming in contact with specifically this texture, or material one in this case, uh, you will die. So make sure you sign your textures very carefully and decide what goes where. So then we're just going to sign it like so. There we go. Perfect. We're all done here. So then we're going to save desktop and then export desktop. 
In case you don't already know, I kind of expect you to already know how to use these uh, these various modeling programs. If you don't know how to use them, I'm sorry, this is not the tutorial for that. This is simply how to get them in-game. So once we've made the model, you're good here. We'll keep that later just for reference. And now we're going to want to go into so I see for DS Ultimate Editor. One of those names. And here we go. Now this is where the ROM comes in. I'm going to get the fresh ROM. There we go. Actually, this isn't fresh. Let me... You know, this, this, isn't, this isn't a fresh one. That's fine, though. That's fine. We'll just replace a different level. We'll go to Womps Fortress. Okay. Okay, so then now we're here. Uh, what you want to do is find a level. I'm going to use Womps Fortress because the other one is... Well, it's already... Uh, already been changed. Uh, that's my fault. I apologize. So here we go. We got Lomps Fortress. And now what we want to do is 3D model, import level model, then load external model, and here's where you find the model you've made. And ba bam There it is! That's pretty awesome. <laughs> so, uh, everything looks fine here. The scale, you can tell how big it is, about how big it is at least. Through this little Mario figure. Let's bring him up. Where is he go? He's down here. Boom. Bring him up. Okay. So you know that that looks that looks pretty big. You know, you can walk around a little bit. I'd say just a 1.0 scale is fine. Uh, uh, that looks you know, he you can make that. Yoshi can make that. Let's hope. Um So anyways, aside from that uh, the, the things on the left, I don't usually use these top bits, I only use the scale here. This is the preview scale, so if you change that, it's going to look different than what the scale actually is. This I just always get this at 1.0, uh, and I'd only modify the scale if you really need to. Usually it'll be the case, like, here, I'll make it smaller. Bam, that's way too small. Let's just go back to 1, because that's a good size. Okay, once you found the correct scale, you know, what looks nice, we go into the collision map. And here's where the stuff gets interesting, because right here, um, usually if, if, your, uh, if your plane wasn't split up, usually what would happen is that there'd be, like, gaps here, and it wouldn't look right. It wouldn't, it wouldn't function. Like, you'd, it'd look almost like this, but it'd be... Uh, just like one triangle at a time in a random corner. So if you split it up correctly, it should look just fine. And if not, you can always scale it down. Of course, we're going to keep it at 1.0 scale. Don't know what game scale does, but I know that scale works exactly the same. We're just going to keep it at 1.0 because that's what the other one, uh, the model scale is. So you just want to match it up. And yeah, this looks this looks good to me. This is a good scale. Uh, everything looks right. Okay, now here, here's why you need to remember the, what you call it, the texture names because this is your collision types. Uh, you'll be using this very often later, so remember them. Like your life depends on it, because at least your level depends on it. Okay, so material one. If we go back here, that was death plane. That's material one. So we're gonna assign that to, say, three, and then material two was the grass. So we're going to see, we keep that at zero. And then material three was the lava. We're going to make that lava. So we'll assign it to one. The last one is going to be water. We'll just assign it to two. Okay, then once you click assign, they'll change colors accordingly. So you've got, this is zero. This, I mean material one, material two. I mean material, I'm sorry, I'm confusing. Uh, material 2, material 3, material 4. Now, their color is dependent on the CLPS, which we'll go over later. Other than that, that's all you need to do here. I'd recommend uh, not messing with this, aside from the material collision types, like, like the minimum face size, you can leave that alone. But everything looks good here. Everything's assigned to its own thing, and we can now go into importing it. So you do import modern collision map, then we'll exit out of here, and then now free load Womp's Fortress. 
but bam, that's the level. It's in game. And including all the objects. They are just still there. We don't want these. Get them out. Get everything out. Get it out. Get out. Out. Get get. Move all. Move all. Uh, just remove all. Scared of everything. Okay. Fresh clean level. Okay. Now we're gonna add the necessary objects. Or er, sorry. Warps. Entrance. Bam. It's right there. Copy. We need a view. Add view. Paste. Turn that around a little bit. Right there. Go up. Go back. We're good. Okay. Uh, by the way, a couple errors I'm going to go over before we actually go in-game and demonstrate this is uh, there's one error that happens and it's about texture size. If your textures are too big, they will it will give you an error about something being negative and it won't work and it'll just be a problem later if I were you I'd recommend keeping your textures 32 by 32 if you can help it if not then I would you can go to 64 by 64 and higher to a point I've had issues with 64 by 64 so I'll just say 32 by 32 it works most reliably at least for me to each their own though it could work for you and just didn't work for me Anyways, here we go, that's the level. Now, if we were to... Oh right, the CLPS. We want to go over this. Okay, the CLPS is basically, in short, uh, your collision editor. So, whatever the material you assigned, is it the number to, like zero, or remember that was the grass. So, this right here, that's the grass. Yeah, really realistic. That's going to be that grass is gonna uh, it, all that texture specifically is gonna act whatever is here and it tells you a nice description of what it does and this says death plane we don't we don't want that of course you may be wondering well what what are all the different variables for each luckily there's a document I'll leave in the description that has all of this and more so you can assign it accordingly most of them explain for themselves. I won't go over that. You can look at the huge list and it should be very self-explanatory. But here's what it looks like right now. So that's going to be the grass, or in this case just rock, because I'm lazy. And this is going to be, material one was, uh, I think it was, okay, material, it was, I want to say it was a lava. We're just going to guess, because I was dumb to not leave the, uh, thing open. Which you should always leave that uh, importer open because you can refer back to what the texture was and, you know, just figure it out better than I, like right now. Uh, I know 3 was the death plane though, so behavior is going to be 4, that's the death plane. And then uh, 2 was water, so hey, what do you know, it's already water. It's cool. Um, 63, water, lava, water, death plane. Cool, I think we're good. So we've assigned the collision. One, zero, which is this, is grass. One, which is supposedly this, is lava. And this, two, is supposedly this, and that's water. And three is the death plane, all on the bottom there. Cool, that's the CLPS. Okay, now, before you actually go play test your level. There's a couple things to help you. One, look at this. If you see a texture animation, you click here. If you see texture animation here, delete that. Because that will crash your game. Because that is the old texture animation that was there and that texture that was there before is no longer there. So it's going to crash your game. Uh, you can add texture animations yourself. I won't go over that. It's pretty easy though. Um, so then we got our level here. And now, what we're going to do, I'm going to do a couple of small things um, just to make life easy. Apply. Cool. Save. Uh, and then, we're going to go into the hub. And we're just going to add a warp there, it's just so we don't have to deal with it. Uh, go all the way to Wom's Fortress, because that'll take too much time. We're kind of low on time here, so let's just make it. Make a big destination. 
Womp's, uh, close enough. Womp's Fortress. With Bam. Uh, let's make it huge. Just, just go. Just go. Entrance, zero. Destination, perfect. Okay, save. Okay, now we're going to go test it in the game. Now that we have the level. Uh, open ROM. i go to this one. Should have skipped the introduction because of the patch. Yep, cool. Okay, so then I got the controller out. It was somewhere over here. There it is. Now there we go. That's the level. Of course, there's a lot more things you can edit. Yeah, let me get full screen. There's a lot more things you can edit. Let's see if everything works. Oh, and, well, the death plane did its job. I'm dead. <laughs> Let's go over here. Uh, that should be lava right here. That's lava. Dead. One more time. Let's see if the water works. Of course, water and toxic works a little weird. You have to go, uh, like... Texture has to be above you, and you have to go under it. Here, let me see if I can get there. Yeah, see, there you go. Water. Perfect. Everything works accordingly. And I'm dead. Okay. So, that's that, actually. That's all I wanted to show. That's how you make your own level in Super Mario 64, and import it and have everything working properly. Um, if you have any questions, you can either direct them at me, or I will leave a link to their Discord in the description, so you can go check that out, and, you know, have any que questions asked if you're interested in this. And I hope you enjoyed. Um, that's it for now, so... Until next time, au revoir.